I was born and raised in Bronx, New York. Over time, people in New York City have changed. Sometimes I feel like I'm treated like I'm a visitor here. Everybody's talking to each other, but nobody's talking to me. And people may just walk by. I do software testing here at the museum. So I was going through all the objects on the collections portion of the website to make sure that they were displaying correctly. And that's when I saw this Glen Ligon piece. There are four etchings. The first one quotes from Zora Neale Hurston. I do not always feel colored. It really spoke to me. I'm very much affected by the reflection I see in other people's eyes. Because all my life, I've been in situations where I am aware of the color of my skin, and I don't feel like myself. When I looked up Glenn Ligon, I found out that he was an African-American person like me. And it made the work less esoteric, not as distant. The second piece says, I feel most colored when I'm thrown against a sharp white background. Sometimes I'm the only black person in the room. And I am, to some extent, by myself in that moment, although I'm in a room full of people. I feel like that there's a barrier, but it's a barrier that, that I didn't put up, but it's a barrier that someone else has, and I can't push that aside. I can only make myself open for that person to get to know me and to see me as a, just, just a human being. The black-on-black -black etchings were harder to read, but I learned the words were from Ralph Ellison. I am an invisible man. I am a man of substance of flesh, bone, fiber, and liquids. And I might even be said to possess a mind. I am invisible, understand, simply because people refuse to see me. Glenn Ligon's using these quotes to make the point that things haven't changed. The feelings that, that he had in 1992, people had decades ago, and I have the same feelings now. It made me feel included, like there was somebody out there who would see me and they would understand my point of view. I think that museums should be a reflection of the society around them. And here at the Met, it may not always succeed, but they're trying to include everybody and be for everyone. When I want to see this piece again, I don't go down to the galleries. I look at it online where it can be a more personal experience. It makes me feel connected. It makes me feel like I'm part of the world makes me feel like like myself. <laughs>